people seem to have mixed views on prison. Some think you just sit in a cell all day bouncing a ball like you're Steve McQueen. Others, <laughs> others compare it to butlins. What with us being allowed to earn a few luxuries like a TV or a radio. I suppose for the guys who just want to do their time, it is like that, yeah. But for me, it's not. For that, they threw me in the seg. Gave me more years on my tariff too. <laughs> I got a good look at those keys before they tackled me though. <laughs> When the screws asked me what it was I was painting, I told them it was the city skyline of New York <laughs> and that I'm booking a ticket there as soon as I get out. But it was a worryingly long time until they cottoned on that it wasn't actually New York on my wall, but one of their keys. It's funny how some things so simple as boot polish and lollipop sticks can become tickets out. More time isolated in the seg. As much as it pained me to give in, it crossed my mind just to lay low for a while. Become part of the system. Cog in the machine. The screws began to trust me after a year. It even let me get a job in the wing kitchen. I couldn't stand the feeling of becoming an honest working captive. I have no intention of falling in line. I was only doing that job so that I could work on my releases. Hooch being the best one. A bit of fruit to ferment. A bit of bread for yeast. Some amylase to break down the sugars. <laughs> it's no Chardonnay, but it's the best I'm getting. Some of the other inmates are in here because of their drug addictions. Cocaine, heroin, whatever. But escapism. Escapism became my heroin. It's that craving. That craving for freedom. Mixed in with my impatience. <laughs> it just became an ever stronger concoction for my entrapment. You'd have thought that I'd have given up by now. Been broken in. But when a man has this much free time and this much desperation, he will try anything. Especially when he knows his old world of luxury lies just beyond a bit of 14 foot high metal. 